Hello, this is a nice RDF motor for rolling shutter, industrial motor, and this is the control board, the Pro Automatic three phase control board, and this is the cable which is connecting between the motor and control board. And if you see this lever, this lever is used for making the manual. Now it's manual. If you are pulling this one uh, using the chain, the motor will move manually. And if you move this lever in opposite way, it is in automatic motor. So whenever you are pulling the chain, you need to change the lever to manual mode. Otherwise, this one will be broken. And there is two the connections of the cable these connectors are coming along with the cable so you just need to insert the red cable here and this is the motor cable and this is the encoder cable and after you can terminate anywhere in the screws and in the control board the red cable is coming to the brake and the encoder cable will be coming to the encoder port and the motor power supply like L1, L2, L3 uh, this is the supply it is coming with the cable and UVW is the motor connection U is black, V is grey and W is the brown and earth you can connect terminate here in the PE terminal now we connected the motor to the power supply <coughs> and uh, we are going to program the deep pro automatic control board with the motor rdf motor now i switch on the power and when we open this is the programming button and this is the open and close button do, using this button you can change the parameters for setting the limits you have to switch on the dip number one dip number one should on now the display of the control board shows like upward you can move the motor to the upper limit by pressing a button now motor is moving Suppose this is our upper limit. For saving the upper limit, press any of open or close button. Now the display towards down direction for setting the down limit. Down direction for setting the down limit now we are moving to the down limit suppose this is our down limit for saving the same you have to press any of this button now the intermediate position is blinking if you don't want to save the intermediate position you just switch off the fourth LED fourth button dip number four so setup this message will come you give a command so the motor will set up the limits automatically by five times open and close. Now it's starting. Means it will open five times and close five times to accurately set the limits. So leave for the motor for complete eight cycles.
and after that the motor will come uh, you can use for operation uh, initially when you are connect when you are connecting this depro at automatic to the power and this is the jumper for safety edge by coming by default from the factory it is coming in the upper side means opto sensor mode if you are not using opto sensor and you are using a sa uh, resistive safety edge and if you are not using at all a safety edge you just remove the jumper and put it in the down side for programming the remote control you have to put uh, one receiver this is oxi receiver on the port and program in the same way like a remote control first press the button of the receiver it will start flashing and press the button of the remote control remove it that's it so the remote control and the receiver is paired and you have to change some setting in the control board to operate the motor by remote control for activating the remote control you have to move to the parameter p106 for uh, adjustment adjusting the parameters you have to switch on the dip number one now it's showing p0 now press this button to go up you have to move to P106 by pressing this button we can move One zero six. After reaching one zero six, you have to put the button uh, on the button dip number four. Now it's showing zero. You have to put this one one by pressing this button. Okay. And after that, you have to switch on the switch off the all buttons. Now pressing the remote control it is working. You can connect all the other accessories here like stop, there is up, uh, down, four keys. Uh, for the push button you can connect it here, up, down and stop and there is 24 voltage supply over there you can take the 24 voltage DC supply for other devices from this terminal for completely resetting the DPRO automatic control unit you need to switch on DIP switch number 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3 then display should show e e zero zero, and press open and close button together then it will show minus minus but make sure it uh, it should be in ee0 if it is ee1 you need to press down key to make it zero now i am pressing up it is ee1 we need ee0 by pressing down it will come ee0 E0 and press open and close button together.